Lonsdale fans, we're here with boxing champion Billy the Kid Dib. Billy, you're fresh off the loss of your IBF World title. It was an amazing fight on ESPN Friday Night Fights, promoted by 50 Cent and Lute Bella. Mate, despite the loss, take us through the fight. I mean, look, it was, it was a great event. It was uh, 50 Cent's first promotion, SMS Promotions, and um, yeah, to be involved in such an amazing event, uh, it was rated the highest viewed ESPN card in the history of ESPN. So obviously, with the um, you know, with the support of 50 Cent, we were able to get the numbers that we did. It was a great fight. You know, unfortunately, some things during the fight didn't go my way. Uh, it cost me the fight, but you know, it was good to be involved in such an amazing fight, and uh, the response that I've received from all the fans has been fantastic, and I'm just super glad. Okay, well, um, we are, as we, it's well established, you are promoted by 50 Cent. 50 Cent has vowed his undying support of you and vowed to get back the IBF world title with you. There is rumours that there is a rematch clause in place with Evgeny Gradovich for the IBF world title. Will this fight take place? Yeah, definitely. Look, we, uh, we signed a, uh, we signed a uh, rematch clause. So, you know, I mean, I guess he wasn't ever supposed to really win the fight. It was supposed to be... You know, a fight that I won, but unfortunately, certain things happened, and um, you know, the stars didn't align on that night. But we always had a rematch clause in place, and we definitely will be exercising the rematch, and uh, it will be happening sometime in November, I'm guessing. Well, after the 12 round decision, people saw a new Billy Dib. Billy Dib that came to the States this time was reborn in a way, it was a different style of fight for yourself. Is this the new Billy Dib we're going to see in the future, standing toe to toe, trading blows with the best of the best in the featherweight division? Oh, look, I'm definitely going to be in there trading with the best, but um, I don't feel that I fought the smartest fight. You know, I thought things were going really well in the first four rounds, and then uh, certain things happened, and um, you know, I got caught up in a brawl. But you know, I, I want to give the fans the exciting fights, but it doesn't mean that I'm go out, going to go out and brawl every time. You know, it's. I've got to be smart with using my brains as well as my boxing ability and uh, I just look forward to getting back over there and showing your fans, you know, great, great fights as well. On that note, when will we see you next in the ring? We're looking at an um, early June date, yep. so for a comeback fight, um, it, won't, it won't be the rematch on that day, but um, I will be making a return to the ring in early June and then followed by the rematch in November sometime. Okay. Is 50 Cent still going to be a part of the Billy Dib crew? Is he still going to uh, you? I've, I've signed to 50 Cent for on a three-year deal, so basically I've still got to fulfill eight more fights at the company. I've only fulfilled one, and I've signed for a nine-fight deal. Okay, cool. With all the new support you've gained, is there anything you'd like to say to the fans? I just want to say, uh, you know, thank you very much to all the fans and, um, who have followed us through this journey. Um, the fans on the uh, Lonsdale page and the fans on my page. It's been fantastic support, and uh, I really appreciate everyone with their great messages of support. And um, you know, I'm definitely going to get back that world title real soon. And I just want you guys to stay tuned. Well, there you have it, guys. An exclusive with Billy Dib. Stay tuned to our Facebook page. We will keep you updated with all the events leading up to Billy's next fight and his epic return to the ring and on the chase for the next IBF world title. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Take care.